Hello children, I am back to you with your favorite YouTube channel Science Guru Sir Olo. And today I am here with one new chapter from class 8 science that is the crop production and management. And in this chapter we will read and learn about the crops, the different types of crops along with the different steps which are involved in the production of the crop and which is known as the agricultural practices also. So first of all we will start with the crops. What is crops? Dear children, when the same kind of plants are grown in the same field on a large scale, it is known as the crops. Again, when the same kind of plants are grown in the same field on a large scale, it is known as the crops. Now, we will discuss about the classification of the crops, that is the different types of crops. We know that India is a vast country and the temperature, humidity, rainfall and average weather pattern are also not same in all the regions. It is vary from region to region. So on the basis of this different climatic condition, we can classify the crops mainly into two groups. These are the Kharif crops and the Robi crops. Now we will discuss about the Kharif crops. What is Kharif crops? The crops which are grown in the rainy season, especially from the month of June to September. These are known as the Kharif crops. Again, the crops which are grown especially in the rainy season, generally from the month of June to September. It is known as the Kharif crops. N uh, examples, paddy, mage, swabin, etc. Now we will discuss about the second type that is the Robi crops. What is Robi crops? Robi crops means the crops which are grown in the winter season, especially from the month of uh, October to March. These are known as the Robi crops. Example, wheat, gram, pea, etc. Now, we will discuss about the agricultural practices. The different steps which are involved in the production of the crops are known as the agricultural practices. And this includes the preparation of the soil, sowing, adding manure or fertilizers, then irrigation, then protecting from weeds, harvesting and the last one is the storage of the crops. So first we will start with the preparation of the soil. Dear children, this is the first step in the production of the crop and it is one of the most important tasks in the agriculture is to turn the soil and loosen it and this loosened soil allows the roots of the crops to penetrate deep into the soil so that they can absorb the minerals and nutrients in a better way. Now, this loosened soil also helps in the growth of the earthworms and different types of microorganisms which are friends to the farmer. They helps in the different way to the farmers. This is about the preparation of the soil. Different instruments are there to make the soil loosening. Now, we will discuss about the next step that is the sowing. Before sowing, selection of the seed is the very important. Why it is very important? Because the best quality of seed is used to give the best quality of the crops. So before sowing, selection of the crops is, uh, it is selection of the seeds is very important. Next one is the adding manures and fertilizers. These manures and fertilizers they provides the extra nutritional supplement for the better growth and development of the plant. Here, one important thing you have to remember that the difference, differences between uh, the fertilizers and the manures. Now, what is the difference between the fertilizers and manure? The differences between the fertilizers and manures are first one is the fertilizer is man-made inorganic salt, whereas the manures are the natural substances. It used to pro uh, produce by the decomposition of the waste material from the uh, like uh, cattle dung or the plant residues. Then second one is the fertilizer is prepared in the factories, whereas the manure can be prepared in the fields. Third one is the fertilizer doesn't provide any humus to the soil. On the other hand, the manure provides lots of humus to the soil. This is the difference between the fertilizers and the manure. There are so many advantages uh, to use this manure also. Then the uh, next step, that is the fourth step, it is the irrigation. What is irrigation? Proper supply of water. To the crop plant it is known as the irrigation it is very important because with the help of this water the crop plant can absorb the minerals and nutrients from the soil with the help of their roots there are different steps uh, there are different process of irrigation nowadays especially the sprinkler system and the drip system are using in the agricultural field 
next one is the protection uh, protecting from the weeds dear children we know that some sometimes in the field many undesirable plants also can grow along with the crops and this can hamper the proper growth and development of the crop plant so these unwanted plants or undesirable plants are known as the weeds removal of these weeds is known as the weeding and this can be done with the help of the different types of weedicides as for example 2,4-D the full form of 2,4-D is 2,4-dichlorophenoxy acetic acid then the another step is the harvesting dear children harvesting is also one more important step during the uh, during this agricultural practices the cutting of crop after its mature is known as the harvesting the cutting of crop after its mature is known as the harvesting and the last one is the storage after product pro, uh, production of this uh, crop plant after production of this crops storage is very important if we want to store it for a long time we have to keep safe from the moisture from the insects and also from rats etc so this is all about the crop production and management and here you have to remember the uh, important topics are the different types of crops and the uh, defined steps which are involved in the agricultural practices thank you